Hey, what is going on, guys? Uh, welcome to your new Iron Man video. So, if you look in the chat, I've done 26,652 Ascension creatures, and obviously, most of them are from Ruari, and then some of those are on Legions, like 250 or something, I think. But overall, I have a lot of keys in the bank, and that's a lot of Cyrenic scales, and also a lot of supplies, like uh, room play bodies, possibly, seeds, all that kind of good stuff. So, I'm going to finish up all of the keys. That's what I'm going to start the video off by doing, and I have one Quintus key here in the inventory which is one of the keys that I do need so I'm going to do that first I just did one now and I got a Cyrenic scale from that but let's see what I get from this Quintus key and after that I'm just going to be doing all the other keys in the bank and I'll show you how many I have in just a second all right, so I got some magic shield bows. Now, I have a lot of these in the bank. I probably have over like a thousand or even more than that because from all these legions, you get quite a bunch of them. But the thing is, I don't really know if there's any good way of getting bowstrings unless you just pick flax or get flax from Slayer. I have like 50k in the bank and then just spin them. And that's not very good experience per hour, I would say. Uh, so I'm probably not going to use them, even though I do need fletching experience. I think it's just way better to make logs into bows and then just keep it at that so we will have to see what i do with them but if i find out a good way of getting bowstrings i'll probably do that so this is all the keys that i have and the main reasons why i actually want to do this is because legions can drop keys as well and if i do get a couple of quintus keys from these or actually cybernic scales as well that's one of the big reasons to why i want to do this that's going to be very good even if i get a signet that i don't really need that's going to be fine you know i still have a chance of getting a quintus key from the legions and you know pets and all the kind of cool stuff so i'm just going to be doing all these keys and i'll get back to you guys when i get something cool Alright, the first significant drop that I get is a Sextus Signet, and that's actually one of the Signets I only have one of, so that's really good, like, compared to if I would get a third Signet, which would never really be used for anything, if I ever want to make a second Ascension Crossbow, then I guess I can do that for at least this one, so that's pretty cool. So I'm going to show you guys how many keys I have left in just a second, but I just finished up the Quartus ones that I had, and I think I had like 38 of them or something around those lines, and I did get two Cybernetic Scales, which I think is pretty good, maybe it's just below the drop rate, but I think it's pretty good, and now I have nine, so I, I felt like that was kind of record worthy, and also I want to say that I am collecting all the charms in one inventory, I didn't really pick up the greens in the start, but the blue and the crimson ones are all the ones that I've got overall from the first kill even, all the way to where I'm currently at so i feel like that's pretty good and i only had one quarter sign i was so certain i had more than one but uh yeah it, it's fine it's fine um so i'm going to do the churches ones now uh, i have 28 of them so i'm going to be doing them real quick but if i do get a signet from that you can see i really don't need it i already have three but yeah if i do get a signet it's still pretty cool to get a huge beam right well, that's pretty funny. On the first kill that I do, I get a signet, uh, which I just mentioned I have three of, so now I have four of them. You know, it would have been so good if that could be the Quintus case, but that's unfortunately not it. Well, that's funny. A second of the same signet and the one I absolutely don't need. Thank you, Jagex. I really do appreciate all this RNG at the right times, guys. Alright, so that's going to be all there is to legions, and I would do a Raxor now if spider minions wasn't blocked, which is actually the path that I need, but if we go to quests, I think I have, yeah, there you go. Rocking out is a quest that I need, along with the great brain robbery, because I need to complete that before I can do rocking out, because if I go all the way down here, you can see the only quest that I do need is rocking out. So I'm going to be doing the great brain robbery, and then after that, rocking out, and I'm going to be saving Ritual of the Majorat for the next video, but that means in this video, I'm going to be completing every single requirement for Ritual of the Majorat, so let's do that real quick. And this is going to be the end of the Great Brain Robbery Quest. I've never done this before, so I didn't even know that you get the Barrel Chest Anchor from this, but apparently you do, so that's pretty cool. I've seen people use that on, like, PKing videos and all that kind of cool stuff, so... Uh, overall, I think the gains you get from the quest, experience-wise, is not that amazing. I'm going to use this lamp to get, like... Oh, you can pick what skill you want to pick. Uh, Alright, let's just do, like, farming or something. 5k experience, I'll take that. And uh, now we only miss rocking out, so let's do that. I'm really quick, close to 78 farming, so that's pretty cool as well. 
I'm sorry for the legacy interface because I was doing it on half screen and I don't have two screens unfortunately so I'll have to do it on half screen if I want to watch a video and then at the same time do the quest. So I kind of did that with this one because this was a really really annoying quest. I'm going to have to tell you. There were so many different things you have to do. You have to go talk to this guy then this guy then this guy then it felt like doing one small favor, favor all over again. So I'm happy I'm done with it and now with that I don't know if I got any levels. Probably didn't. Nope, I did not. Uh, I think I got like smithing, thieving... Uh, I can't remember. Agility experience from that quest, 25k or something. Uh, but now we have all the requirements for the grand quest. Ritual of the... That's not the one. That's the one. I have all the requirements done now. And when I complete this, I think that from the quest while Guthic sleeps, I should also unlock some other things. No, wait. Not while Guthic sleeps. The world wakes. That's the one, look at this. Uh, Ritual of the Majrat, if I have completed the suggested quest requirements, I get some extra things. So I guess I have that to look forward to. But also, as soon as I do complete Ritual of the Majrat in the next video, I'm going to be doing Glaciors, or Glacors, or whatever people say. Uh, and um, try to get those boots, and then maybe I'll do some Rune Dragon Slayer, and all that kind of good stuff. So I'm really happy I have all the requirements done for that, so I can do it whenever I feel like it. So for the past week I haven't got any invention experience and the reason for that is because I didn't have any charge in my gear and how that works is you can still use the gear but you can't actually get invention levels on it and then you know in the end when it gets to a good level you can siphon it or disassemble it for experience so it just halts everything so you can't do anything uh, so I just thought now that I'm going to be doing Slayer I might as well just get some charge and use that to get some invention experience meanwhile doing Slayer so that's what I've been doing I've collected about 12,000 I'm going to stop at probably 12,000 of these energies, cash them in for some divine charges and then I'm going to be doing some slayer and hopefully some clue scrolls as well. So I picked up a hard clue scroll from Ice Strike Worms. Yes, I pronounced that correctly. If you guys remember back in my old videos, I used to say Isis Strike Worms, or at least you guys thought I said that. But anyways, I have uh, 130 left, and I just got the assignment. And on like kill number two or three, I got the hard clue scroll. So let's do that real quick. It does indeed feel like a long time since I opened my last hard clue scroll, and I have actually no idea if I can reroll this. But let's see if I can. What the hell? That's a good way of starting off hard clues, girls. Three of the same page, and it's uh, Armadillo page three. That's actually worth 3.3 million. I know there was an update to where you get like more pages frequently, and like multiple of the same. So I thought they would have dropped shit tons in price, but 3.3 million for that is pretty good. Let's see if I have duplicates. Alright, it's duplicates. But now I have four of the those, and actually I have all of the armadillo pages, I didn't even know that, but uh, I need all the Samurai pages before I can pick up an armadillo book anyways, and I only have... I think I missed two, I think I missed number two and number four, so I I'm looking out for those, I guess. Here we have clue number two, and I can reroll this one. It's actually a one million reward, but these puzzle skipping tickets are absolutely useless when I use all to one, so I'm just going to reroll that real quick and get... 100k reward. Alright, I guess that's uh, okay -ish. I can alk these at least. So a bit more interesting this time as opposed to an elite clue scroll. I've actually got three clue scrolls overall from just one ice strike one task. I'm still on the same one. I have 32 left. So I might even get a fourth one. But let's open this elite clue scroll for... Not the most entertaining reward, but uh, certainly not too bad, actually. Uh, like, elite clue scrolls can be like 40k sometimes if you're really unlucky, so I'll take this, that's fine. As I said, some clue scrolls can be absolutely terrible, and even though this is a hard clue scroll, it just shows sometimes you get 200k, sometimes you get a barrel's die, and sometimes you get this, 64k, you know? Maybe these bandit- actually these bandit cam teleports are absolute- they're worthless. Because I have this, look. It's 2016, Jagex, what are you doing? So from all this clue scroll hunting, my gear is starting to get some invention levels. My weapon is now level 10 and my legs are level 8. Now the legs I know can go to level 15, but I don't think I'm going to level them to level 15. I'll probably stop at like 12 or something and siphon them at that point. I've heard that's apparently the best because the levels after that is like, they take ages and it's not really worth the experience. So I think I'm going to siphon them at level 12. And then my weapon, I don't even know if it can go over level 10. So I'm just going to keep doing Slayer and if it caps at 10, I'll just... Uh, you know, disassemble my weapon because it's a sun spear, and then I'll get a new one. But if we can go above level 10, then please, guys, I need your help. I have no idea how invention works completely, so uh, I need some help. When should I uh, siphon or disassemble my different items? That would be great to know. Uh, but I do have a clue scroll, so let's open that real quick and see what we get. And we get... Oh, that's terrible. 44k. Alright. 
I did actually get a melee task a couple of hours ago, which was Necreos, and I got 80 strength on that. I don't know if you already saw that in the last clip, but I didn't really feel like it was special enough. I mean, it is a milestone level if you think about it, but it's, it's strength. It's strength. No one cares. But anyways, uh, this is another hard clear scroll, and... Why well, it is better than the last one, but it's not very good, so I'm going to be rerolling that and confirm. And we get, well, that is pretty much what I got the last clue scroll, so we have that going for us at least. Alright, so I just disassembled my Sun Spear and it was actually level 11 and I got to 61 invention. It gave me 523,000 experience. And the thing is, it seems like if uh, you get to level 12 and then you siphon it, it's going to give the same experience as if you disassemble it at level 10. So you pretty much just save your weapon, but it's really not worth it, I feel like, because it's a Sun Spear. It costs like 500k to get back, so uh, I think I'm just going to level all my weapons level 10 and then just disassemble them and then level uh, invention that way and I'm going to be siphoning my legs and that's kind of where I want you guys to help me out because I don't know what level I should siphon at like 12 or all the way to 15 or I don't know really so if you guys know then please let me know but for now this is going to be the end of this video I thank you so much for watching and take care see you in the next one guys